million. Pounds. 22 identical sealed boxes and no questions except one. Deal? Or no? working for you and thank you for joining us here in the dream factory well we had a great game on friday with brian who managed to get twelve and a half thousand pounds but we also created a piece of deal or no deal history thanks to a member of the east wing wendy who has a gcse in smut and a level in double entendre and a degree in innuendo she was the first player in the history of the game to get the red card. They then all walked out, <laughs> which was a bit embarrassing, really, because you can't really play this game with no players. So there was a bit of negotiating behind the scenes, and they have proved that they, collectively, are not a bunch of players to be messed with. And I hope he remembers that, and um, I'm going to remember it, because we have 22 identical sealed boxes and 22 very feisty, determined players. A close-knit West Wing, a close-knit East Wing, and 22 different sums of money. But as we get closer and closer to Christmas, wouldn't it be fantastic to create a quarter-millionaire? Let's choose a player. How feisty are you feeling today? Claudine? <laughs> Would you please take the walk of wealth? <laughs> Welcome to your game. You look fantastic. You're sparkling. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You have this amazing smile. I love all that showbiz kissy kissy <laughs> each, each way. I love them all. Yeah, the they... experience has been so amazing. I've just met so many nice, nice people, and it's just been great. Tell us about the photos. Oh, photos, could you do these? This one's my sister, Charlene, my sister, Michelle, who's with me today. Hello, Michelle. Hi. Hello. Welcome. Hello, no. And that's my very best friend in the world, Tanya. It's my crazy niece. That's oh. Jeanne. She's gorgeous. She's nuts, though. She's crazy. It's me and my son, that's Jamal. It's my daughter, Omara. Oh, she's lovely. <laughs> and that's my other little daughter, that's um, Shayla. She's gorgeous, I love them all. <laughs> now, of course, you've done a dangerous thing. You've personalised this and made it very much a family game. Yeah, well, I have got a very, very big family. I mean, there's 16 um, brothers and sisters, four boys and 12 girls. So, the family is huge. <laughs> just help me through this with the family tree. Is this, is this one? all my dads. My mum's just got the three of us, the, the last three. Right. OK, your dad's been busy. Very, very busy. <laughs> <laughs> He's a naughty man, and they're just the ones we know about. We know there's more. <laughs> He's going to love yeah. you for saying oh, that. Oh, he don't care, he don't care. <laughs> but the family's great. I know every single one of them, and, you know, most of us live near each other or, you know, in London or stuff. Mm -hmm. It's just great. Now, tell me about this relationship, because uh, we've had some problems in a few games <laughs> where, where the person brought along has been more influential than the player in the chair. So uh, what have you two got worked out? Well, I only brought Michelle for the banker, really. Because oh. I know he's looking for a lady. And she, she's in corporate banking herself, so I thought... Oh, a bit of matchmaking. Yeah, a bit of matchmaking. <laughs> oh, yeah. So she's really here more for him than me. This could be... <laughs> How do you feel about being Mrs Banker number seven? As long as he makes it worth my while. <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea. You've brought some banker bait with you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> OK. And I think it'll work. 
Claudine White's from Cardiff. Yeah, that's right. Lady of Leisure, that's a yeah. title, isn't it? Sounds better than Housewife, though, isn't it? It does. You've got a lucky number? Yeah, lucky number seven. Are you in any way a spiritual person? I mean, in what way has that been lucky for you? I'm not really a spiritual person, but um, after I had my son, um, they told me that I couldn't have any more children because I suffer from polycystic ovaries. And then I had the two girls, and the first one that I had was born on the 7th. So it's just been a lucky number for me. Mm -hmm. It just looks nice as well, number 7, don't it? Well, <laughs> maybe it's lucky for you that it's the 17th. We have a 7 yeah. in the date. Good omen? It could be. could be. Happy to crack on? Yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> well, I just need you to confirm that you chose box 22 at random before the show. Yes, I did. It is sealed by the independent adjudicator who seals all of the boxes and is the only person who knows where the money is. That's right. <laughs> Claudine, I wish you huge success. Ah, I hope you get you. <laughs> loads and loads of money. Michelle, work with her. Make it a great game. Enjoy okay. yourself. Alfie, okay, Alfie, show us what it's all about. Love you, Claudine. Love you too, babe. <laughs> Laura, number five. Thank you, Laura. Good luck, Thank you, babe. Destroys does, everybody's <laughs> game. The baby face assassin. Don't upset her, she's only seven years old. <laughs> Two years older than Danny. Eleven, Lucy. Oh, so you are ducking out of it. Lucy, keep us blue. Grown from behind, behind you there. <laughs> Number 17, Frank. Oh, oh no, 100,000. Sorry. Still looks all right, though. Well, OK, if you think so. I think it does. Yeah. <sighs> you thought of having your eyes tested? <laughs> um, <laughs> why do you think it looks OK? Because I've come here for the quarter of a million, they're still there. So just as long as it stays there, that's fine. Absolutely. <laughs> is this going to be Claudine's game? Or has Michelle so. won his heart? Will she have distracted him? <laughs> Hello, banker. I'm very, very, very good. Claudine is here with sparkling eyes, beautiful smile. Your kind of woman? Beautiful, vivacious. I can take my engagement right now. <laughs> and her sister's also available, yes. <laughs> Your kind of woman. <laughs> and he rather admires your father. <laughs> well, you're doing something right, because he thinks that's a disastrous situation in the opening round, but there's something about your energy that has convinced him that you could be very, very lucky. He doesn't say that very frequently about anybody. <laughs> well, um, I don't know quite how to phrase this. Uh, he actually said very much in terms of the relationship that he'd like to develop with you personally. <laughs> but also bearing in mind that Michelle appears to be uh, part of the equation as well. Um, he would really be looking for a swap. 
<laughs> and that's what he's offering you now. Claudine, oh. there is no financial first offer, but he is saying, would you like a swap? So basically, he's calling your bluff as to whether you are a lucky person and whether box 22 has significance. Um. What would you do, Paul, if you were in this situation and your lucky number was over there? Would you give it up? To be honest, if I've always said I probably wouldn't swap a box no matter what, even if I go all the way. But I do have one lucky number, and if it did mean something to me, personally, anyway, I probably would swap. You would swap. Are you going to accept what fate delivered just before the show, or are you now going to take control of the game and go for a swap? No, I'm going to go with fate. I'm going to keep my box. So, swap or no swap? No swap. Thank you, Claudine. Let's hope the bravery is rewarded. OK. He thinks you're lucky. He now knows you're determined and resolute. Mm -hmm. The next three are really important. Number 18, Sue, please. Thank you, Sue. Good luck, Claudine. Thousand, five. Take the top off the game. Find the one P. Great, Danny. Thank you, Danny. Lots of the blue. Yep. <laughs> Two hundred and fifty. <laughs> what are you looking for and why are you now giggling? I'm looking at Karen's box. How do you feel about that one, Karen? I have absolutely no feelings for number nine at all, so I say get rid of it. I think we'll go with Karen number nine. Sure? Yeah. The banker believes she is an inherently lucky person. <coughs> this is a low number, she is. That's the reason why you'll come back after the break, to find out if she's lucky. Hi, I'm... Welcome back to Claudine's game. She's done a very good job, not only by bringing her sister, who <laughs> the banker rather likes, <laughs> uh, not that he doesn't like Claudine, actually, but also she's convinced the banker that she is an inherently lucky person. So, the choice is Karen, box nine, and her verdict was, let's get it out of the way. <laughs> Seal's still on. Do you want it to go? Yes, I do. OK, let's prove she is lucky. Good luck, Claudine. 20,000. Okay. That's not bad. I took out two blues and one red in that round, so... Yeah, as long as I keep those three in place, then I should be all right. This is going to be the first money offer, or, of course, he could be a minx and simply say, are you sure you don't want to swap? Why are you giving him ideas, anyway? Now he's probably thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Do me a favour, don't offer a swap. <laughs> Anything, I'll chip in. <laughs> Go on. Yeah. OK. Uh, straightforward. You have a money offer. Whew. <laughs> what he's concerned about, he genuinely believes you're a lucky person. I think you should take this as a very positive sign. Your offer, your first financial offer in this game, is £14,000. <laughs> What do you think, Alfie? That's a very good offer, Ardu. Really good offer. Jenny, if you got that offer at this stage, would you be pleased? I'd be pleased. It's a good offer, but I'd say no deal. Lucy? 
It's a good offer, but we're taking the big one back to Wales. <laughs> <laughs> Karen. Lots of blues left, Claudine. Craig? Yep. Too far to go, yes. Yeah, a lot more there. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say that again? Because I really like the way you said it. <laughs> 14,000 pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. Probably an all blue round would be a good idea. We've got to find those pennies. Yeah, go on. That would be the dream round. <laughs> Do one ten and fifty now, and you would really have him worried. Go on then, Nicola. Open your first box. Good luck, and I'll miss you, even though I've just met you. Okay, <laughs> Nicola. You've got one of them. <laughs> all right, now you just want the other two. <laughs> You're not going to, are you? I'm thinking about it. You're going to take the risk? <laughs> I don't know. The baby-faced assassin. Go on, then. Number 50, Joey. You're sure. going to take the risk? Yeah. Joey, we want to see 1p or 50p. Thank you. Good luck. We'll miss you. Yeah. Under pounds is fine. Straight away, what are you thinking? Oh, I'm fine with that. Yeah? Yeah. OK. That was just a number of groans behind. <laughs> no, that's OK. Michelle, are we happy? Yeah, still a good board. You've still got three out of the five. It's just that penny. It's got to go, hasn't it? <laughs> it's really got to go. Why, why does the penny unsettle you? It's just there, isn't it? It's just... And it's right at the top, you know, by the lights and everything. It's just... <laughs> I feel lucky. Hello? This is going well. He doesn't want to rely upon the odds of you taking the three big ones in the next round because that is highly unlikely and because he thinks maybe you are a lucky person this is giving him a slight problem okay thank you a couple of other little things you might be interested in uh, he still believes you do appear to be very lucky but he very much likes the way you present yourself because some people who are determined to go all the way do the poker face but you're sitting there and the personality is coming out and you seem to be enjoying yourself and that seems to be unsettling him in your favor we're at 19,000 pounds <laughs> Back to Cardiff. <laughs> I think you've got another round left. I'm more cautious than you are, but <laughs> if I had that board, I would probably still go on. Okay. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> I love this, it's great. <laughs> I love the way you're loving it, because I'm sure it will unsettle him. That it's was amazing. a big offer. It is a big offer. OK, but if you're ready, here it comes. £19,000. Deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. <laughs> You've created a fabulous game here, Claudine. He thinks you're lucky. And I guess he's going to be worried. Big offers, but big money still in play. Avoid it, and you will see the next offer soar. Marriott, number 13. Please. Marriott, we have three of the power five left. Please, we do not want to discover where they are. Thank you. Good luck. 
Jacuzzi won't be the same. <laughs> All right. You mustn't touch either the quarter million or the fifty thousand. And I must find out about the jacuzzi story. Come back after the break. I'm going to find. Hi, John here. Welcome back to Claudine's game. Delicately poised. 50,000 quarter mills still in play. And... Oh, jacuzzi story's good one. It really is. <laughs> It'll be in the next book. <laughs> right, then. So, where are we going? I think we're going to go with number three, writing, please. Sure? Yeah. Yeah? Best look, Claudine. It's all right. One piece still around. What's the last offer? Thirty-one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if he improves on it. Hello. <laughs> Why did you say thirty-one? You can improve on that, then, can't you? <laughs> no, that's my age. <laughs> <laughs> I think you are right. Thank you. OK. He says a lot of people say the quarter million's there and then this, that and the other. Well, but he, he sort of believes you. <laughs> In fact, he really does believe that you are the person who, without a really good offer, will go all the way. So he believes this is a very attractive offer. 22,777. <laughs> Pop it up there. Look at it in context. It really all comes down to how lucky you really are today. I'm ready for the question. Yeah? Yeah. 22,777 pounds, Claudine. Deal or no deal? Thank you. John, number 19, please. Good luck, Claudie. Thank you, John. Good start, great start. Find the one P. Find that one P. Focus, concentrate. Craig, number 14, please. Okay, Craig, keep her luck running. Good luck. Yeah! If you can find the 750, you've put yourself oh. in an extraordinarily strong position. Do you know what? I'm going to have to pick Wendy because I knew the five numbers that I wanted to keep. OK, Wendy, open box 16. A great time to do an all blue round. That was it. Oh, oh now wow. how do you feel? I'm buzzing. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all are. 
I did cover for the birds, you know. To me, the money is a bonus. But with a board like that... Uh, hello. It was a fabulous time to have it all blew round. It really was. <laughs> Good. It's terrifying. A number of things terrifying him. Number one, he still believes you are very lucky. And number two, he thinks you were courageous for turning down almost £23,000. Oh, what's the third thing? She can see into the future. That's a hell of a compliment. Oh, I know where you're going now. Thank you. Okay, he latched onto the fact that you could see into the future. So what did you go and say earlier by way of an offer? 31,000. 31. He admires the way you can see into the future and he's offering you 31. 31 pounds with 44,000 in front of it. Your offer is 44,000 and 31. Come down here. Come on, come down here. Sit down. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine with you. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just come on, sit down. It's lovely. If you bring along somebody to give you that courage and support, and they go, oh, no, I feel terrible. <laughs> £31 is a lot of money. But if it's your lucky day, it's worth placing the bet. Four thousand and thirty one pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. You might want to sit down for this bit. Lucky lady, prove that you are one of the luckiest players of all time and one of our most courageous. Number two, Connor, please. Connor, you're taking part in a round which has three of the most significant boxes we've ever had. Is she about to become our first ever quarter millionaire? Open it. No. 50,000's gone. Where are you going? Number 20. Number 20. Yeah. Jenny, it's you. Come on. We know what we don't want to see. Keep us there. Go. Keep it focused. You've got to find the five or the ten. You've created a game where it really doesn't matter which. It's on you, GK. GK, please. It mustn't be the quarter million. Open it. Very best of luck, Claudine.
This next phone call could change your life forever. I only came here for a break from the kids. <laughs> This one is going to be fascinating because I think he now knows you're going to go all the way. <laughs> he has to get you out with it. He has to buy box 22 with this. <clears throat> he has no alternative but to offer you something sensible for box 22. Hello. Come on. going to become our first quarter millionaire unless you do something about it. How much are you prepared to buy it for? You've got £31 <laughs> as the theme. In front of it, he's putting One hundred and seven thousand. One hundred and seven thousand and thirty one pounds. Oh, oh. oh I want to sit down, get off. <laughs> One hundred and seven. Thousand and thirty one pounds a pound for each year of your life, young lady. Can I ask a question now? We're there at the question? Yeah. I'm okay. One hundred and seven thousand and thirty one pounds. Deal or no deal? Second highest winner on Deal or No Deal of all time. <laughs> but is there just a little more pleasure in this game, or is there the pain of knowing that you could have had twice as much and more? Turned down the chance to be our first quarter millionaire. You have been extraordinarily brave. I can't tell you how much I want to reveal 10,000 rather than the fact you blew the chance of a lifetime. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Paul, you always said you wouldn't swap the box. Would you please complete this extraordinarily wonderful game? 10,000 is there. <laughs> Driving back to Cardiff, will you be thinking, bother? It really was my lucky no. day. I'm going to be thinking of shoes, boots, <laughs> jewelry, <laughs> holidays. Claudine, one hundred and seven thousand and thirty-one pounds. Okay. Wow! 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 Oh, now. Uh, this is your chance to take part in Deal or No Deal. If you've called us in one of these boxes, we've got 1,000, that's 2,000 or 10,000 pounds. What's your name? Cathy. Did you enjoy that, Cathy? I did. It was fantastic. I need you to say one, two or three, please. One, please. OK, will you open box number one? It has...
That's 2,000. Will you open the other two boxes? 10,000 there, 1,000 there. Hey, that's some good Christmas spending money, 2,000. She's got a spending fortune. You are wonderful. Thank you so much. Two great sisters. <laughs> you can sense what it does here. It just gives everybody such a buzz. Courage, courage, courage. That's what completely unsettled the banker. And he had to give her £107,031 for box 22, just in case it had the quarter million. And it did! And it could tomorrow, which is why I think you'll be back. See you then. Bye-bye.